Low margin talks foreign. Honest opinion. Let's hear the let's hear the honest opinion. People have been asking me about this, so if we take a look at the comments. If Warren came out in Tekken 7 as a DLC for the first time, it will be completely despised by everyone and forced into Nurse. He gets away with a lot of shit only because he is legacy, but for like a player from his style in 2020, labbing him against slightly decent against the character was a nightmare. This is something that was the same thing Tekken Gamer said about because remember when Leroy came out? That was the same thing Tekken Gamer said that was like, um, yeah, Leroy's strong, but like maybe we just need some time to lab him. If Warren came out, now the difference is like, Leroy was a broken character, literally a broken character. Um, like, there's shit to be figured out here. But well, anyway, let's get into this. All wrong is um, he's actually pretty ridiculous too. Let me see. Yeah, Ho wrong is pretty ridiculous. He's real um underrated, I would say. And it doesn't help any that, like the majority of his like users. They talk bad about the character, like all of them do. They all say- I'm not gonna lie, he's not wrong about that. I mean, anytime I take a trip into the Warring Discord, it's like, you can't do this. He sucks at this, 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 this is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. Whatever. Da, da, da. So he's, he's not, especially, I think especially American Warring players, which is probably where he gets his like viewpoint from, especially the American Warring players um they they taught like i say he's the worst character in the game but i'm memeing they i don't think they say he's the worst character in the game but they they say he's pretty garbage like i remember when they took away when they don't remember when he had his two throw into the guaranteed back turn four um when they took that away there were horror players who were like genuinely upset like it's one of the only things he had and now that's gone then i'm um, just like damn he has so many apparent weaknesses yeah, he has a, he has everything he needs. If you need to like crush under a high, you got a low that does it. Multiple lows that do it. What's the what's his? Uh okay, see, this is where he only has down back three from neutral, and like that's it. Like he doesn't have multiple. Like I think that's his own. That's his only high crushing low in neutral. Like that's it. Um, zero on hit, not bad. Um, but it sucks against like characters like Kazuya because he can launch it. So like um his other one yeah i think it's yeah we got down back three obviously good tracking obviously one of the best power crushes on the game good he's tracking. got multiple power crushes good tracking that is yeah <laughs> i mean what super good lows yeah, that one, uh, you know, breaks walls and balconies and stuff. Damage is insane. Um, good counter hit tools. Even though he doesn't really need them, but, you know, we got that. Freaking 15 frames safe. Uh, what's the other one? I think that does it too, still. Okay, they nerfed it. Yeah, what? Back I think to that used to... To launch, he, he's got a bunch of. He used to launch what? Safe launcher. He's got an orbital that's safe. Probably because I'm put on the spot. Yeah. That is not the combo, but you see the damage. I did like a a trash trash combo with Hellrong just now, and that that hurt more than like pretty much any king combo with the wall. And that was a trash combo. This character is good. He's got two raised drives. They both are pretty good if you um right, see this is this is actually this is this is my problem when people talk about characters a certain type of way. They own they only mention things in isolation. And you can't you can't look at the you can't look at the game like that. Because it's like like if you say like oh he has if you say something like he has because this is i remember this is something i used to argue back and forth with dante about all the time he'd be like oh warring has like nine safe launches or how he's in safe launches and it's like when you say something like that in isolation that sounds good but then when you take into account it's something like his orbital which is not great um like you know he has a great down for two uh you know skyrock is safe but weak tracking like yes he has these things he has these things when you look at the isolation they're a lot stronger than it sounds and also when people do videos like this i hate when they haven't got stuff prepared 
because then they're just like fumbling for things to say and then they're just like oh, and then he also and then he also and then when i think about it as well he has this as well and it's like let's just keep going you know use them properly yeah this character is ridiculous he has a, a real throw game uh what's that two back yeah you have to break two right here you have to break one right here um because i do also hit, having a full throw game is something that i've never like said i, I don't think it's that deep because just break throws the only thing i think you can say is a promise having a back turn throw mix up especially when his two throw was a lot stronger it made doing the one plus two throw from back turn like so free because everyone wants to break two everyone wants to break two everyone wants to break two so like i think you can say that's fucked up which having a complete throw game is whatever like it's the highest damage back turn throw in the game isn't ravens 50 no fangs is fangs is fangs is feng does 50 Quarang's back turn uh, 1 plus 2 does 45. Uh, Feng's back turn 1 plus 2 does 50 without rage. I thought Feng, no, nah, Feng's is 50. I, I, remember, I remember looking at him practicing one, one time, like, what the fuck is actually, yeah, because fifth Quarang's, that, Quarang's uh, jackknife throw used to be 50 in season one. I remember they nerfed it, it used to be 50. And I was like, I was, I remember in season two, I used to do the throw. I used to be like, that would have killed in season one. Um, uh but now fangs fangs does 50 um king has only one safe mid launcher and it's super slow but that's that's another thing to keep in mind like if you say if you so that's that's an example of what i'm talking about if you say warring has a bunch of safe launchers then whatever did that's unfair king only has one safe mid launcher and it's like yeah but king also has a complete throw game that is a mix-up as well so if he then had if king could run up in your face do safe mid launcher or throw mix up that'd be toxic right that's why you can't just look at certain things in a vacuum like that but yeah this character's good to go like what's the issue with him exactly like what's wrong with the character what are his like big weaknesses i really don't even know what they are why do people say he sucks then because a lot of horong players are used to playing horong the exact same way which is um not a lot of defense but like ridiculous offense and if someone finds a way to beat the offense then oh my goodness the character is null and void if you back dash back um if you back dash down three four oh goodness um it's the whole character is trash i think he he kind of contradicted himself there no because he said he has no weaknesses well he said okay he's asking what i don't know if he's asking generally what his weakness is or he's being he's being um What's the word? I want to use the word facetious, but it's not the word, but I used it earlier, so I want to use it again. I don't know if it's being facetious um, and asking, like, um, what are his actual weaknesses? Well, it's a rhetorical question. But it's like he's saying, but like, once people beat it, so like, there is a way to beat it. So, how can he, how can he say what are his weaknesses? How do you beat this when there are people who complain because it can be beaten, you know? Um, but what he's saying about hiring players is true as well. Like I've said that before, when I've, whenever I see lower rank hiring players, they are pretty much all doing the same thing. Like, and I enjoy running into that when I'm playing a side character because I'm just like, well, then, you know, I know exactly what you're going to do. This is easy for me. Thank you for the free rank up points on my side characters. He's means for a lot of rank players rather than the character. Okay. 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 Throw the whole character away. Because you couldn't just completely destroy them. Oh yeah, back three. I forgot about that. Ridiculous, ridiculous will punish. Wait, we forgot about hunting hawk. Freaking safe mid launcher that jumps over lows. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. When you say hunting hawk. It's like, this is what I mean when I say you talk about stuff in a vacuum. It, it's a safe mid that goes over lows and it launches. Like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's low crush starts up really slow. It's tracking is terrible. Uh, it's damage in the combo isn't great, but you can say it's irrelevant because it low crashes. But it's like, this is exactly what I'm talking about when, you're, when you look at things in a vacuum. There's a reason you don't see many of the best do it. Like, the only time I'll do, like... Because here's the thing, like, say I'm doing... I'm in Flamingo. That's the only time you see me do hunting outside of combo. Um, 
and like I mean, I want to do a low crush. I'll do left flamingo up forward four instead. You know, I do that as a low crush instead because it's more damage. It low crushes faster, and oh man. <laughs> and he could do it from flamingo. <laughs> yeah, like how how many safe launchers does a character need before they are um, considered like decent? <laughs> But the whole wrong mains, they say he's bad. You know, he's not that good at all. So I think is up three plus four. Orbital, Orbital's like Orbital's hitbox. They buffed it. I think this season it's still terrible. Um, it's still terrible. Um, I like up forward three plus four as a low crush. I like that because it starts up fast. It's like it's like a hop kick. Um, I like that as a low crush. Doesn't launch, but it does new tactics and shit. Um, but Orbital is not great. It's not great. I like his orbital, but I, I, I can't say it's great. This is what happens when you give a character a breakdown and a character you haven't actually played. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'd say orbital has specific usage. It has its it's not a useless move. I think Huang has a lot of useless moves. Um, but it's not one of his useless moves. Um he's right about Huang being good, just has the wrong reasons. Yeah. I think. Like I think he really is like he's like, this is this is crazy and this is crazy and this is crazy, but it's not the case like hunting hawk being a good move is is crazy but um yeah that's that is crazy yeah how many do we need to how many did we count wait safe 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 um what else what else what are we forgetting i feel like we're forgetting something Oh, I think this is, um, yeah, this is plus. <laughs> That's breaking rules, right, guys? What are you doing having a plus on block launcher that power crushes, that homes, and has good range? Safe but risky. They always go to backlash, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use main man. I'm gonna use main man here. Because main man, main man's logic um, is the answer here. So when main man did a video talking about um, Law's new rage drive, he was like, he was like Law's new rage drive is a problem because it's, it's too fast. It's like 23 or something. I don't know how fast it is now. Um, but he said the old rage drive was, what's Law's old? It's 22 now. Law's old rage drive is like 25, 26 or something. That's the old snake edge. That's how slow it was. And main man said, perfectly reactable, easily reactable. Backlash range. is 27 at the fastest. So by main, main man's logic as someone, he also talks shit about hiring as well. By his own logic, backlash is completely reactable. It's not a problem. Um, and I'll, one thing about backlash as well is like, I just called it a high snake edge. The problem with backlash is it's active frames. Because if you duck it and try and launch, you can end up getting up and blocking it. You can end up getting and getting hit, actually. That is where I say the problem lies in Backlash. I don't have a problem with it because I know the timing. You know, I see the move all the fucking time. So I don't have a problem with it. I know the timing. But if you duck Backlash, other people will have trouble, especially online, to duck it and get a meaningful punish on it. I think getting I-14 is not a problem. We want to get any more than that. I see people struggle. That's where... The issue lies in backlash. And I think it goes back to lots of matters point is like he's not wrong about Haring being good. Like he's not wrong, for example, about backlash being good, uh being a good move. It's just the reasoning behind it is the problem. Safe but risky. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I think that's five, right? Yeah, it does have a lingering hitbox. I've tried to like I've ducked it and stood back into it and got hit anyways when I tried to do my uh wild rising punish. Yeah, that power crush is kind of messed up. And this one is too. This, um. Yeah, this this move here. Oh, yeah, that last hit is safe. <laughs> yeah, that's another. Yeah, he has so many. But, um. But, yeah, Horong, he's he's fine. He's He's got everything that he needs. He has a throw game, good lows, good mids, good tracking, the offense. That's the one. That's the one. That's the way that I was always gonna. That one's always gonna make my head cock. That one's always gonna make my head cock when you say good tracking because. Okay. 
Like, mm, it's like he he understands the character's good. He doesn't. He just doesn't know why. Because <laughs> maybe you're using too many linear moves. Like when you say good tracking, I wanna. You know what? I if I had the time, I would pull up like a compilation of like me getting stepped of me getting stepped by not even like a Lily or a Zafina or some shit, but like a regular character when I'm like a huge plus advantage for trying to take my frames. I, I'd make like with like, with like clown music in the background or some shit like that. Like that's, that ain't it. This is good. The defense is good tracking. The offense is good. The defense is good. How was the defense good? He can play keep out. He can meet your half. He can play keep out. He's saying just like down forward. Like, I think Warren Keep out was just like down forward to stay away from me. Uh, what's the keep out? Backlash? Back one is good. Boy, with Peacekeeper here. Wait, is he's good. He can play keep out. He can meet you halfway with Peacekeeper here. This frame skyrocket can come out of nowhere. And obviously, down forward twos, you know, those. I've been wanting these moves to get nerfed forever. I don't know why they've been safe for so long and have the ability to like crush under certain high jabs that's fair that's a good point i love it when horang's down for two goes under a jab marduk nina brian it's happened to anna before um like i love when that happens like that's a good point it's safe as well that's a good point it's not as bad as paul but there are characters oh i love it yeah that's that's just crazy yeah, he's, yeah, defensive, yeah. Oh, no, he's using back one. No! No! He's using back one in his, his example. No! That's just crazy. No. Yeah, he's, yeah, defensive. Yeah, he's got this back one. Oh. And yeah, just negative 14. That ain't too bad at all. It used to do something on counter hit, but they nerfed it. His punishment... His punishment is okay. I mean, for lows, I mean, 28 damage, that's nothing to scoff at. And for 14, he has while standing um, three. So he's got like really good, like low punishment. And obviously he's got the, um, I don't know how to, yeah, that move there for like negative 16. Yeah, this is a launcher too. Yeah, he's good to go. 11 frames with that, and he's got obviously one, two into Flamingo. You have to guess here. Plus 11. The offense, you know, we, we don't even need to really talk about his offense. The offense is understood, like, super good. So, yeah, Horong is good to go, guys. He's. If you want to play Horong, then just be ready to, um, like, really have to study his move list and all the transitions from, like, Flamingo and right foot forward and, like, back turn, too. Like, he's got back turn moves from both stances. So, yeah, you have to really, really pay attention and learn that stuff. But, um, yeah, he's he's good to go. I don't see anything wrong with him. I like how the rec recommended video is, is getting mixed by Huarang as well. Um... Him saying Huarang good, is good to go is a fair statement. Like I've said, Huarang's a good character. You know, he has everything that he needs to work. I don't know when people say he has everything. He has every Huarang has everything that Huarang needs to work. You know, but he has problems. Hitbox problems, tracking problems, um, damage problems. He doesn't do enough damage. Uh, you know, stuff like that. But like... There was something he said towards the end there that like, I can't remember it now, but like, oh, I can't, but like, the people that pick him have problems. Like, I if he's address the thing is he's addressing. I feel like this video he's addressing the Huarang players who truly downplay him, and he has everything he needs, not everything you need. Um, he is like there. There are Huarang players that seriously downplay and think he's bad. And address, like that's fine to sort of I, I I've said before this is why there's this balancing act between Huaring is overpowered and Huaring is shit because the people who say Huaring is bad generally the Huaring players are saying whatever and the people that are countering Huaring, countering that point 
don't know enough about the character to tell them why their char the character is not as bad as they think it is. And I think this video is an example of that. Oh, I can't believe he said back one. I can't believe he mentioned back one and hunting hawk and oh man make back one a wall bounce on count hit make back one good again back one and count hit used to knock down if they stay down you could pick up with down back four four was basically a launcher man that was so good back in the day man when i used to use back one but now i literally only ever use the move by accident literally so um yeah i think this is yeah like i said there, this is why this balancing act exists there are the whoring players who downplay the character and say he is terrible and the people who are like, no, he's not, but they don't, they can't explain to you why. It's like it's like the same. It's like when I talk about Zafina, I'm like, I feel like Zafina should get nerfed, but I don't know what you nerf about. Zaf I don't know how you could, how you nerf it. I don't know how to balance that character. I don't know enough to sort of say it. So you rarely see me do whatever on it. But that was something, wasn't it?